Hi guys, welcome to one more video. In this video, we'll take a look at convert sorted array to binary search free. Difficulty level is easy. So the problem title itself gives out that we would be given a sorted array and then we need to convert it to a binary search free. So it's kind of a deserialized operation, like we're given an array or string and we need to deserialize it to binary tree. So that's the problem statement. However, there are two important things. First of all, it's a binary search tree. So what is a binary search tree? So binary search tree is a binary tree where root node is always greater than the right, I mean left child. So root is greater than the left child, left child is smaller than the root and right child is always greater than the root. So root is kind of middle, left child is smaller and right child is bigger. So that's a binary search tree. And what we need to make sure it's that it's a height balance binary tree. So what does height balance binary tree means? So height balance tree means that the height difference between the complete left or complete left tree and complete right tree cannot be greater than one. So if the depth of left tree is let's say five, then depth of right tree can be either four or six or five. It cannot it can differ, but not more than one. So that's height balance tree. So that's the problem. Uh, we have a couple of examples. We'll ex do those examples on the whiteboard and we'll understand how we can solve it and then come back and run the code. Okay. Okay. So this is our array. We'll take our array as minus three to three and we'll try to convert it into a binary search tree, which is also height balanced. And this is our complete code. So this is a recursive function and all we are doing is we are splitting the array into two half. So what we do, so we have all the elements in the array. We take a middle element and we put that as our node and everything left from that node or the middle element is part of the left tree and everything right from that middle is part of the right tree. And we just keep we recursively keep doing that until all the elements are done and we get our tree. So let's see how we'll uh, draw out or how the tree will become. So what we do is let's say our this is our array. So from zeroth element to sixth element, right? And when we do middle, so obviously zero is our middle element. So that's our first node. And what we do, we say this is our left tree and this is our right tree. Now we recursively call those uh, as left node and right node with low and mid minus one and mid plus one and high. So <coughs> this is our left tree, this is our right tree. Now let's do the left tree first, okay? So now this becomes our array, right? Minus three, minus two, minus one. And what we do, we repeat the process. Take the middle number, minus two. And then this is the left tree, this is the right tree. So this will come out as minus three and minus one. And that's the left tree. Now the left part is done. Now let's move on to the right part. We'll follow the same process. We'll take out the middle element, which is two. This is the left tree. This is the right tree. So this is the left tree. This is the right tree. There you go. So we have our binary search tree, which is also height balance. So simple process to make our binary search tree from an sorted array. So let's take one more example. Let's take a bit bigger array and let's see how the uh, how our uh, binary search tree looks like in that case. Okay, so this is our second example. We just added two more elements to our previous array. We added minus four and four. So a little bit larger array, not that pretty large, but still. So let's try to draw the tree from this array using this logic. So what we'll do is we'll pick the middle element and then we'll say this is your left tree and then this is your right tree, right? Same process. So we'll have zero as our node and then left tree and then right tree, right? So let's first do the left tree. So now in this one, our middle would be again minus three. So minus three would be the root and then this would be the left tree, right? Now over here, what will be the middle in two elements? So minus two would be the middle. There's no left, there's only right. So minus one would be the right node. And likewise, same here. In this array, the middle would be two and left tree would be one, right tree, right? So in three, four, three would be the middle element root and then four would be the 
right child right there's no left child so there you go guys if you look here the height difference between these this left tree and this right tree there's only one and likewise height difference between this left tree and this right tree is one so it's height balance also it's binary search tree and uh, that's what the question needs so there you go guys uh, i'll spare you from looking at my code which is like written with a very bad handwriting let's go to the vs code where the code is nicely indented consistent fonts and everything so let's do that okay guys this is our final code so we have our main method in which we are taking those two examples of array and then we are passing it to sorted array to bst method now this method in turn calls that make bst right and in make bst what we do is what we discuss on the whiteboard right take the array find the middle element and then uh, middle element becomes a node and then left child of that node is the complete left part of the array and right child of that node is complete right part of the array i figured out left right for you guys <laughs> so anyway guys uh, i don't have uh, i haven't written any way to like print the array or print the tree so we just have to run it and assume that uh, it does what it's supposed to do so I'm sure you guys believe me. So, so there you go, guys. The code is there. Uh, I'll put the link to the code in the description. And if you guys like the video, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know your feedback and suggestion in the comments. Uh, this is not the only way to do it. There are multiple ways, but this is the way I found it, which is more logical. So if you guys have a better way, let me know. And then as usual, subscribe to the channel for more videos. See you in next one.